Hello, I'm Hum Electric, and welcome to my guide on the Remington 870 MCS for Black Ops 2. The Remington 870 MCS, or more popularly known in game as the R870, is an American made pump action shotgun by Remington. MCS stands for Modular Combat Shotgun and allows for the weapon in real life to be reconfigurable via its stock and barrel. In game, the R870 is unlocked at level 4 with Create a Class. It boasts an 8 round tube magazine with another 24 shells at your disposal. The 8 round tube magazine is the smallest in its class, however, its fire rate of 80 rounds per minute will help keep you from depleting this quickly. Reloading is done per shell and can take up to 5 seconds if the magazine is totally dry. The R870 fires a buckshot spread of 8 pellets per shot. Each pellet does 50 damage at close range. At the maximum of its range, each pellet will do 10 damage. However, its effective range is within 8 to 10 meters to be a one-hit kill. Anything outside of this range will take up to 2 to 3 shots to take your opponent down. If outside of 14.5 meters, your target will take upon no damage whatsoever. The aim down sights time is about 250 milliseconds, and with this shotgun, it is worth the time to do so. When aiming down sights, your spread of buckshot will tighten and give you a higher chance of a one-hit kill. And, as with all shotguns, you'll retain 100% of your movement speed with the R870 equipped. Now on to the attachments. The Reflex Sight. Unlocked at level 2, the Reflex Sight gives you a precision red dot where your iron sights would be. For many of the weapons in Black Ops 2, the Reflex can be a help, but for a shotgun that fires a spread and has a short limited range, the Reflex is a miss. Long Barrel. Unlocked at level 3, the long barrel attachment increases the range of your weapon by 15%. This will make your 14.5 meters of max range increase to 16.7 meters of max range. This attachment is a fantastic pairing with the R870, giving you a better chance at a one hit kill in all circumstances. I strongly advise this attachment for the R870. Fast Mags! Unlock the level 4 and half your reload time with the R870. Instead of having a fast reload animation, each shell you insert into the R870 will count as two shells. This speeds up your reload of all eight shells to about 2.5 seconds if the mag is totally dry. However, in practice I found I rarely would expend the full magazine the R870. As long as I kept my eye on my remaining count and topped up frequently, I found that reloads were seldom an issue. The Laser Sight Unlocked at level 5, the laser sight will tighten up your hip fire spread, and correspondingly so, your buckshot spread will tighten. This attachment is very effective with the R870, and gave me the ability to quickly take down enemies when unable to aim down sights. The Stock Unlocked at level 6, the stock gives you the ability to aim down sights without any penalty to your movement speed. However, the R870 has a quick movement speed when aiming down sights and offers little benefit to this already nimble weapon. The Suppressor. Unlocked at level 7, the Suppressor will keep you hidden from enemy radar while firing your weapon. However, this comes at a cost of your effective range. Unfortunately, you can't pair this attachment with the long barrel to make up for the range drop. But in practice, I found I didn't lose too much of my effective range with the R870 and can be a usable attachment for those who favor stealth. Extended Clip Unlocked at level 8, Extended Clip will give you 11 shells in your magazine versus 8. Also, it will give you 33 shells to start with instead of your normal 24. However, as long as I kept the R870 topped up after a few rounds, running out of ammunition was seldom an issue. Extended Clip can be a good fit for those who don't want to run Scavenger, but don't also want to worry about running out of ammunition when on a higher kill streak. Quick Draw Unlocked at level 9, Quick Draw has to aim down sight time with the R870. From 250 milliseconds to almost instantaneous 125 milliseconds. Even though when aiming down sights this will help condense your spread of buckshot, I found that the R870's aim down sights time was quick enough and did little to enhance performance. The MMS. Unlocked at level 10, the MMS or millimeter scanner is the last item you unlock with the R870. It will help you identify still enemies from behind cover and walls out to 25 meters, but needs to be aimed down sights to be effective. 
Unfortunately, this attachment is an ill fit for the R870, and I found I used it more of a reflex sight with more zoom and a larger reticule and less for its core function. I would advise against it. For the powerful pump action of the R870, I recommend the laser sight paired with long barrel to increase your one hit chance potential even when firing from the hip. For your secondary, your pistol of choice will help you tackle enemies outside of your normal range and is useful if ever caught needing a reload in the middle of a firefight. For your blue perk, I suggest flak jacket. Given that your movement speed is 100%, lightweight isn't necessary and flak jacket will help you from taking explosive damage, thusly making bouncing beddies and claymores a mere annoyance versus your total demise. For your green perk, I recommend fast hands. This will speed up your switch time from your primary and secondary and will speed up your use of equipment. This is an ideal perk for those who want to keep themselves nimble and will aid you when having to toss grenades or lay down attack insert in a flash. For your red perks, I recommend extreme conditioning paired with dexterity, thusly requiring you to take upon a third perk greed wild card. Extreme conditioning increases your sprint duration and dexterity will speed up the time it takes you to draw your weapon after sprinting. These two perks combined will give you the ability to catch up with slower enemies and close in for the kill. Or if caught off guard, you can quickly hip fire your weapon, ending a gunfight in your favor. For me, I favor the tack insert for my equipment, allowing me to spawn in unexpected places in team based games and giving me a chance to flank the enemy instead of going head on. Overall, the R870 is a strong choice for a shotgun, but demands good aim and close quarter use to make it effective. You trade off fire rate for power, and if you miss your first shot, you might not get a chance to take your second. However, the R870 is an extremely powerful weapon, and when played correctly, you will be dispatching your foes and topping the leaderboard in no time. Elect this American-made workhorse of a weapon and give them a buckshot surprise they will soon not forget. Thank you, I'm Hum Electric, and join me when I cover the first assault rifle unlock, the MTAR.